Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Well, let's get your thoughts here on Ryback. You know, Cole, I've always loved tag team wrestling. And one of my favorite tag team matches that Kevin Nash competed in was when he and Shawn Michaels took on Ric Flair and Randy Orton on Raw. You know, that was one of the most highly contested matches I've ever seen that did not include a championship being on the line. The sky's the limit. I see a lot of main events in the future. And a great shot by Ryback. Make no mistake about it, this is getting ugly. Yeah, now we're just talking about his face. He may have to worry about internal injuries. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Jerry, you mentioned the exciting tag match Kevin Nash was in with his partner, Shawn Michaels, and you're right. The match was so heated, so intense, that you would have thought the tag team championship was up for grabs. The excitement in the arena that night was palpable. It definitely had a main event feel. You know, Michael, it's funny. Sometimes the most heated, most violent matches have nothing to do with the championship goal, but personal issues and rivalries. Kevin Nash and Shawn Michaels had enough of Orton and Flair and felt the time had come to settle the score. Oh, it was a good night for Nash and HBK on Raw. Turns the tide. Well, that's one way of getting out of trouble. And into the cover. Reversal. Kevin Nash showing his prowess. Nash is looking to inflict some big time pain. We can't talk about Kevin Nash without talking about his finishing move. One of the most awesome in sports entertainment the jackknife power bomb. Nash lifts his opponent almost 10 feet in the air and then drives them to the canvas right on their back. What a move. A quick reversal by Ryback. A textbook maneuver there. Going for the cover. Ryback is just awesome. We're seeing a man right now whose sole purpose is to destroy other human beings. Michael, the idea of a finishing move is to do just that, finish your opponent. But when you see Kevin Nash's jackknife power bomb, well, the seven footer is taking things to another level. It's one thing to overpower an opponent with your finisher. It's another when the move can practically send someone crashing right through the mat. What a clothesline. He should have to register his arms with the states he goes to his lethal weapons. One, two, three. What a huge win. Here's your winner, Ryback. Wow. Big win right there. Hey, they both gave it their all. But in the end, we were left with the best man standing. And what a way to end this night of SmackDown action.